That's probably better. Oh, yeah. Now this is the game I remember. Where's all Where's all of Mario's friends? Maybe they're hidden because it's like they, 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 you don't they don't want to spoil like who's his friend, which is fair enough. Like I'm assuming like look look at the title screen. You see there's nobody to his left and right, but there's a lot of empty space. It's probably because like his friends will appear the more you play through the game. All right, let's get it. From the beginning, file one. Let's get it. This intro is like, still, I mean, we'll, we'll see. The original intro, one of the best. I'm gonna tell you the story of the thousand year door. An awfully long time ago, in a strange and far off land, a bit, oh, it, it was a town where all people lived very happy lives. It was said that the town was very prosperous. But one day, tragedy befell this blessed place. A great cataclysm struck the town and its people. Darkness filled the skies and the earth roared and shook. It was as if the very world had come to a violent end. And all in but a single night, the town sank into the depths of the earth. Many moons rose and set. Stories of the town passed into the pages of fairy tales. And when the town's site no longer held relics of its past, people gathered at the spot and built a new town. But word spread among the people who moved in that an ancient city lay deep underground and that a magnificent treasure rested there. Indeed, this is the tale of the fabled treasure of Rogueport. Yes, this is where it begins, in the city of Rogueport. Sea City of Rogueport. Tale of a quest for legendary treasure. And the Thousand Year Door starts here. All right, I'm not gonna lie. That was a lot faster than I thought it was in the original game. Holy frick, that text was fast. It like sped it up or something. Finally, I have a minute without Toadsworth watching over me. He's so paranoid. I come all the way here on holiday, only to be stuck with Toadsworth. It's so stifling. Once in a while, I'd like the chance to look around on my own and see what I want. But now that I'm doing it, all I see is that this town has a very distinct flavor. Oh, Missy, Missy. Won't you buy something? I have a wide assortment of knickknacks and doodads, but this is a special favorite. Well, that's a pretty box. What's inside it? This box holds a treasure. Oh, sorry, this box holds a map that shows where to find treasure. But the box has a magic lock on it that will only open for a pure and noble heart. As you can see, it won't so much as budge if someone such as me touches it. Oh. If the box will open for you, Missy, then you may have whatever is inside. <laughs> Go on, hold it. This guy doesn't look shady at all. I suppose I could try opening it. And... Hello. Still in the intro. Hello. Mario Bros. Mail call!
Hey, bro, check it out. A letter from Princess Peach arrived for you. I'll just read it to you. How's that sound? Ahem. Now, let's see here. Wait, am I reading this in, I guess, Peach's voice, not Luigi's? Hello there, Mario. I am now on holiday, traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came into possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually. It was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Rogueport. But since it would be too difficult for me to try and f go find treasure all by myself, I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? Mario, the simp that he is, gonna go running to the peach, or running to the princess's call, and uh, get the get the treasure for her. I've included the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at Rogueport. That means you must come, Peach. Ah, just kidding. He probably has something better to do. Like, what, what do you, like, what do you think Mario and Luigi does in their spare time at home? It doesn't look like there's much to do here. Also, what the heck? Did you guys see that, uh, that portrait to the, uh, right, the right hand side of the screen? Is that all of the, I think that's all the, all of the partners in the original Paper Mario. So that's like all of Mario's old friends in the previous game. Or in, I guess, whatever, the the N64 game, which is su supposedly the, the prequel of this game. What do you know? It's true. There's a weathered old map here in the, in the letter. Check it out. Heck yeah. This is the old map. Oh dear. Title screen. I am so excited. Prologue, a rogue's, rogue's welcome. Oh, I have to click something, oops. Yes, this game has a lot of chapters. <laughs> Ex excuse me, s sir. <laughs> Please wake up, sir. <laughs> the town you'd been speaking of has come into view. Look, that's Rogueport. There it is. I'm pretty sure in the original Thousand Year Door, they didn't they didn't have those like little grunt noises. Which is interesting. I must apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed just a bit by rough weather. Whew. What a what a ship turn. Hey, where's Luigi? Hello, that's us. Do we have a hammer? We do. What do you want, pal? Huh? A prin a princess in a pink dress? I ain't seen nothing like that, no. I remember a princess, probably. Why do you want this chick anyway, pal? Owe you money? Is she your girlfriend? That's a good question. Is Peach Mario's girlfriend? H highly unlikely. Which is uh, unfortunate for Mario. Is that Peach? Hey! Oh, wait. oh no, this is not Peach. This I know who this is. You know what? I I don't have another voice, so she's gonna, gonna sound exactly like Peach. Hey, what do you want? Get away from me, freak! <laughs> oh, come, come off it! I know you're a nosy book nerd, so don't play dumb with me. I've been asking you walking around. Uh, I've seen you walking around town, asking for information about the crystal stars. Is it just me, 
Maybe I just came off too quickly from playing Sonic Mania. This guy is just like the Mario version of Dr. Eggman. Well now, I'm doing the asking. So be a good little student and tell us what you know right now. Never. I don't have anything to say to you creeps. Ew. I suppose it wouldn't be right if you, if a sassy little lass like you met with an untimely demise. Buh, buh, buh. Boys, we're taking this firebrand to our fortress. Oh dear. As, as you command- wait, that's a toad. As, as you command, Lord Crump, we're, we're on it. No, no! Stop right there, you weirdos! I'll scream! Really? This sounds like a job for Mario, but let me talk to you guys first. <laughs> She's probably fine. Like, I, like I'd go anywhere with smelly losers like you. <laughs> Not likely. Uh, what do you think you're doing, chump? You think you can screw up my plans? Oh, me? Gah, it's always something. Looks like I'm gonna have to give you a little taste of the old crump -a bomb It's time for a fight. Oh man, this UI is so sleek. I see my health. My, my mana. Battle time, Mr. Man. Just find a way to beat this freak of a week, okay? Don't sweat the details. Just jump on him and hit him with your hammer. I see my XP. So, like, top right, sorry, not top left is obviously Mario's health. Then the mana is right next to it with the flower. Then to the top left is my experience and the coins. All right, so my options are jump, hammer, item, and tactic. What's in tactic? Just defend and run. And I can't run, okay. Literally can't run. <laughs> All right, good to know. Uh, let's jump on him. Oh, oh. That's right. I, I, I got the timing down already. So the, the, the play style of this game is, it is a turn-based RPG, but it's a, tur it's a turn based RPG with action elements. So you, you have to perform certain actions to get better results. So in a way, it's an action RPG, but probably not what most people think of when they say action RPGs. Hammer. Wah! That's right. You've got him on the ropes. Come on, keep wailing on him. Oh, oh I got the super guard. Oh my God, my timing is immaculate. Give me my XP. Nine star points. When you get a hundred, you level up. Okay. Oh, yeah. buh, buh, buh. Okay, you got a couple of decent shots in. I'll give you that. But unfortunately for you, that means it's go time. <laughs> Where did all of you come from? Punish him! I feel like my switch is gonna explode. Quick, this way! <laughs> Phew, what a bunch of bozos. Let's sneak out of here, what do you say? I love how... I love how you can clearly see a lot of them are turning around to look at me but they're still going back to jump into the dog pile. That's some good stuff. All right, well, let's get out of here. Uh Stop! <laughs> Where'd they go, huh? You, Johnson, do you see them? Did anyone? <laughs> ah, crud! They bolted! Wow, mister! You totally saved me! Thanks! I just got to give you a little reward! 
<laughs> My name's Goombella. I'm a junior at the University of Goom. Nice to meet ya. So, uh, who are you? Oh, yes. Mario? Wait, you mean that, like, famous guy? Wow, I can't believe I met you here. Cool. Anyway, no offense, but it uh, looks like you just rolled into town yourself, right? <laughs> I forgot that happened in the background. Me? I already hate it here. The boss sends you his greetings. How that road... Uh, the, the road taste, punk. Are you okay? I don't know. Are you okay? That hurt. No. We won't forget this. See, I like that little cutscene in the background shows there's like a little bit of lore happening in the game. Like, like existing in the game. Me? I already hate it here. There are freaks and weirdos everywhere. It's nasty. I mean, I know this place is called Rogueport, so I should have expected it, but sheesh. I never come to a place like this if there wasn't some legendary treasure here. I got it. I have the map to it. What? You're looking for the legendary treasure too? Seriously? <laughs> whoa, 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 Bucko! What do you got there? Oh no, she's turning. She's turning southern. Oh my gosh! Is that a map? You have to tell me where you've got that. Princess Peach? What? Great Hoogly Boogly. If it isn't Master Mario. <laughs> Bit of a coincidence, bumping into another in this sort of place, hmm? Ho ho. So tell me, Master Mario, what in the world brings you to this wretched little burg? I leave this task to you. Oh? Me? I, I have to rescue the princess? Again? I believe I'll recline in the inn right over there and enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. In fact, I highly recommend it, particularly if you're finding your, your HP heart points running low. Just drop on in! Ho oh. ho. Yes, anyway, a little rest there will fill all your HP. I must say, though, the rest of this town is a bit rough. Yes, rough indeed. Huff, I say. Huff, I say. Huff, I say. Oh, he didn't say it again. You think maybe she got sick of waiting and went to find the treasure on her own? How could she have found the treasure on her own if she gave us the map? Oh, oh, I know, Mario. Come with me. One of my professors is here researching the treasure. We'll show him your map. I don't remember this music. Is this like a... Is this like a new theme for Goombella? It's like her music. If we start... If we start looking for the treasure, then maybe we'll find some clues about Princess Peach. Great! We're all good then. Let's go, Mario. Goombella joined yo party. We got our first teammate. Goombella's ability, a primer. I don't know what that means. I, I didn't know what that meant when I was like when I was like seven years old and I still don't know what that means. When you approach people or objects, you may see an icon appear above Goombella's head. If that happens, you can press X to learn more about that person or object. Press X to learn about the person. That concludes the, the little primer. Do you think... Oh, wait. I... Okay. I understand what they meant by primer now. Two decades later. When they say primer, they say it's like a little... It's a little head start taste of what she can do. Like, it's not everything, but it's... A, it's, it's a little course on what she can do. Oh, that makes so much sense. She can jump to attack with head bonk, or look at an enemy HP and weakness with her tattle ability. Her tattle ability is freaking OP. First off, we gotta find my professor. Thing is, since I just got to town myself, I um don't actually know where he lives. His name is Professor Frankly, and he looks like this. I know where he lives, but I want to explore a bit. Oh, before I mention it, from here on, if you ever feel lost or confused, try pressing ZL. 
Why? That'll be my cue to share any info that I know, which might help us figure out what to do next. Studying pays off. I don't think that was in the original game. They're basically saying if I press ZL, then she'll just tell me where to go or something. But I'm assuming this is just, just like a new feature they added if you get stuck. If you're a noob and can't figure it out. Heck yeah, we're in Rogueport. Wow, I'm, I'm surprised they still kept the noose here. Because this is... I always thought the noose here was like really dark in the uh, original game. And they kept it. Hello, Zesty. Oh god, how, what, what is she going to sound like? Freeze! <laughs> Freeze! You two! Not another step! Don't come this way! Some complete jerk just bumped into me and made me lose a contact lens! I'm looking for it right now, so don't you dare move! You hear me? Whatever you do, do not move an inch. Not an inch, you hear? I'm pretty sure even if I move backwards, I'm gonna break her content slice. Do I jump? Will it break? Nope. Okay. <laughs> ah! Idiot! You stepped on it? My poor contact lens! It, it doesn't matter where you move. Like, wherever you move, you break her contact lens. I told you not to move! Don't you, don't your stupid ears work? What were you thinking? Uh, no, no, I didn't do it. This is your fault. Now I have to, now I have to buy a new contact lens, but you're gonna pay for it. Compensate me, Mr. Clumsy. Uh, I think he's too poor. I think I have literally zero coins. Fine, if that's your plan, then here's mine, you oaf. I'm gonna block the gate to the west side until you bring me new contact lens. Yep, so now she completely prevents you from moving, or from going forward. Oh, oh wait, never mind, I have a hundred gold. <laughs> welcome, yes, welcome to Toad Bros Bazaar. Eh? What's that? You want contact lens, you say? Hmm, just wait a minute. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I completely forgot you have to pre-order the contact lens. I just went in here by accident. Also, doesn't it look like those toads have their mouth open? They're just like, uh, like the whole time. But it's actually their mustache. Like, what you're seeing is their mustache. Gee, fella, I'm sorry, but we don't have any in stock right now. Tough luck, I know. Hey, what, what the heck? There's like a points and a menu thing on the side. Okay, uh, sorry, it's an item thing. Item thing must be your item capacity. I thought your item capacity was only was only 10. They, they boosted to 15? I can order one right away for you. A special order one right away for you, but it'll take a while. Check back soon, okay? Oh, let's buy some stuff. I have freaking 15 spaces. I'm just gonna buy, like... Oh, shoot. I, I don't know why I skipped all that. Uh, I always like to explain our shop point system to new customers, so bear with me. Customers receive one point for each item they purchase, up to a maximum of 300 points. You with me so far? Save enough shop points, and you get prizes, including some rare items. You'll find a list of prizes posted in any shop, so be sure to check it out. It's a pretty simple promotion, wouldn't you say, fella? Need it explained again? Frick no. They, they, they were tricky with that. If I just kept smashing A, it would have said yes, and I would have had to re-watch that whole explanation. Now with that said, I'm gonna need five coins for that mushroom. Wanna buy it, fella? Absolutely. Wanna buy this? I'm gonna buy like so since since I'm not gonna have very much health, I'm actually gonna buy like three mushrooms. I'm gonna buy like one of everything. Oi! I used to sail around and run wild in me younger days, but I'm a reformed sailor now. 
I used to go around exploding all over the place without giving it much thought. How... How could you explode and not be exploded? How are you still intact? Unless it's like a metaphoric explode, like you explode in anger. This is the Skull Stone, the lucky charm of my family. I love you, you sparkly thing. It is so fabulous, I wish to give it great kisses. It never loses my sight, never. Can't take it? Probably not. Oh yeah, there's a badge store over here. Can I access it? It's probably not open. No, okay. Sorry, we're closed. We'll, we'll, we'll reopen at 11 a.m. I'm assuming time does not progress, so... No point in me trying to wait. Let's fall down here. What's, one, what's funny is... Oh! What the? Hello, star piece. These are useful to buying um, badges, which I will need. Because I'm doing a badge point only run. That's what BP stands for, badge point. Oh my god, this guy is so smug. <laughs> Dang, yesterday I blow through a hundred coins at the parlor. Can you believe that? <laughs> but not next time, man. I'm coming back a winner. The odds are fa the odds favor me now. Ah, uh, gambler's fallacy. My favorite fallacy. Oh, what is that? I see that. Another star piece. You know what I really hope? I hope that this game become so popular that a lot of people realize that or sorry not a lot of people that Nintendo realizes that uh hey we should we should continue this this kind of story game because after after Thousand Year Door they never did another RPG um Paper Mario any more star pieces ah ha, ha I remember where all the star pieces are kind of not really Actually, I don't think I've ever 100%ed the game, so I don't think I actually do know where they all are. And who knows, there might be more. Oh, frick, my money. Oops, sorry, uh, sucker. Pari sorry, sucker. Hey, what's your beef, pal? Yeah, I'm talking to you. The guy bumps into you and just runs off like that? Unbelievable! Some people are so rude! I, do I, can I hit them? Oh, I can. It just. <laughs> they don't get folded up like an Origami King. Whoa, whoa, hold up now. You're an outsider. Past this point is the turf of Ishnail. Head of the Robos, it's 10 coins to pass through. You try to pass through without paying, and I'm afraid I'll have to whip you up, but good. If I remember correctly, this is a very hard fight, so I'm not fighting this guy. It's really simple. If you don't pay, you don't pass. Alright, I'm just gonna... I'm talking to everyone before I talk to Frankly. I'm curious. To power... To power up your partner, talk to me from the other side of the table. Yeah, I don't have any freaking things to do with those, so. Oh, we found him. Oh, hi! There you are, Professor Frankly! Oh, I forgot how amazing this music was. What? What's up? Who's there? Who wants me? Oh, yes, you! Now, you, uh... Wait for it. Just a moment. Don't tell me now. Silence. I'll get it right. Um, no, it's not Gumbriel. Uh, it's not Elizagum. <laughs> oh, I've got it! You're Gumbella, aren't you? You were in my archaeology class last year, am I right? Wow, yes sir, that's me. I'm Goombella, a junior at Yugoom. Go Goombas! Ha <laughs> Uh, cute college girl. Of course- Wait, <laughs> of, of course, I remember you. 
not to toot my own horn, but I'm I'm good at remembering. <laughs> As an old man, uh, you though, you stick out in my mind because you were such an exceptional student. I thought she still is a student. And the, that guy behind you is. Who? <laughs> don't worry, don't worry, Mario. That's that's me every day of my life. Mario, Professor, that he's Mario. You know, the famous one. Oh, my apologies. I'm such a bookworm. I haven't a clue about what's hip right now. <laughs> Look at his freaking face. In any case, what sort of errand brings you to all the way to place like this? We're hoping you could tell us about the legendary treasure said to be below Rogueport. I thought if anyone knew anyone about it, uh, you would, Professor Frankly. Of course I know about it. The reason I came here was to study that very subject. But why do you tykes want to? <laughs> what is a tyke? Uh, it sounds like a. It sounds like a. Like a. Like a the word. That's uh, the TOS. To find the treasure, one must have the crystal stars. Crystal stars? To find the treasure of yore, take the seven crystal stars to the thousand year door. Huh, it rhymes. That's how the old saying goes, and with a rhyme that solid, it must be true. Hold the magical map aloft before, en before the entrance to the crystal store. Sorry, the thousand year door. Then the stars will light the way that lead to the stones of yesterday. The stones of yesterday? The st uh, is that refer to the same crystal stars you mentioned? It must be, and we're in luck. It seems the thousand year door is located beneath this very town. How convenient. Well, I mean, it's not that convenient because the map did tell us to go here, so it, it only does make sense that the, the, you know, the door is underneath this place. Yet the critical map, uh, the critical piece of the puzzle, the magic map, I lost it. If only we had that map. But we do have it, Professor. Or, not we, exactly. Mario has the magical map. Really? Do you really have it? Could I just take a quick look at it? If, if you don't mind? I'm not gonna steal it or anything. Good golly, what are we doing just sitting there? Good then, Goombella, Mario. Let's take the magical map to the thousand year door. Off we must go this instant. I'll lead the way to the sewers underneath the town. Heck, yes. I bet you didn't know this rotten old thing came off, did you? Haha. <laughs> <laughs> I love the paper physics in this game. We can use this pipe to get down under the city streets. Come on, both of you. Let's get moving. See, this is... This is, um... This is what's so great about Thousand Year Door versus, you know, future games like Origami King. So in Thousand Year Door, almost every single secret you find is incredibly relevant. In Thousand Year Door, like 90% of the secrets that you found were just like trophies that didn't do anything. So it just felt like, it felt very unrewarding to find secrets. But in this game, Every secret just like buffs your character in some fashion, whether a very minor buff, but like or a very big buff, which you'll you'll see later with the shine sprites. So exploring to find secrets in, in this game was just expertly done. I'm pretty sure the only thing in in Origami King that gave you a buff when you found a secret was like a little tiny heart, which was not even that impactful. I mean, it was very nice, but not like super impactful. Okay, so this is locked. This is locked. Um, what's over here first? Because I, I think this is not the right way. You're supposed to go like to the to the right. This is the city, right? Oh, a little little lady over there. Also, is that lady? Is, is she's like a she's like a Paper Mario only character, right? 
Like, I've never seen that character model in any other Mario game. Which is cool, because I, I think there's a lot of, like, Paper Mario-only characters in this game. Oh, Star Piece. Heck yeah. This is the fortune teller, right? Which, like, if you're lost, you can, like, ha get help. So, shall I see something for you? Oh, she can tell me where the shine sprites are. Yeah, I'm good. It's also really cheap. Ah ha ha. Is that so? Well, if there is ever anything you want to find, just ask. Alright, we're gonna get our first fight here. Hey man, hey, what's up? You think it's cool to just waltz your way into our underground? Typical surface level. T typical surface level stobs are so stuck up. Oh, I get to see the sun. I like to breathe clean air. Oh. <laughs> yeah, come on over here, scruffy mustache man. We're gonna teach you some proper manners. Leave him alone. Can't two academics and a world famous hero wander sewers of of a port town in peace? If this is your usual greeting to visitors, then you must have learned. It from down here, because it stinks! Ouch, that was cold! What? You're looking for a fight? If you ain't looking to tussle, then stay out of the sewer! Nobody starts- does, doesn't start a fight with us! Nobody, let's get him! <laughs> Heck yeah, first fight! Oh my god, that's so angry. <laughs> I don't remember them looking so angry. A Goomba, a spiky Goomba, and a Paragoomba. My whole Goomba family tree. <laughs> what the heck? I'm gonna let Goombella tank some damage. And then, um... Because I want to use Tattle. Uh, tattling is very good on your opponents because it tells you what they do. And also, you can see their HP bar for the rest of the game. I right, surely don't mess this up. That's right, right in the middle. That's Goomba. Um, yeah, I'm one of those. In case you haven't noticed. Ahem. It says here, Goombas are underlings of underlings. No standout features to note. That's totally rude. Maximum HP is two. Attack power is one. The defense is zero. Oh, I kind of get the underling thing now. All right, now we kill him because now we see his health is two. Oh, I have to pull back. Shoot. Boom! That's right. Whoosh! Frick, I did too late. Ah, I freaking did that too late as well. Uh, Tattle. I gotta kill this guy. He's freaking tanky. That's a spiky Goomba! A spiky headed Goomba! What a creative name! <laughs> Maximum HP is 2, attack is 2, defense is 0. I guess the spike boosts his attack compared to the overall Goomba. The addition of the spike means you'll hurt your feet if you jump on it. Duh. Die. Boom. You die. Come on, I can get a super guard, right? Ooh, I freaking missed it. God dang it. Uh, there's like a little bit of lag on the uh, capture card, so I need to think about that. Perfect. That's a Paragoomba. Basically a Goomba with wings. I'm jealous. Maximum HP is two, attack bar is one, defense is zero. You can't hit hammer it while it's flying, but a but rough it up with a jump and it'll totally plummet. If it loses its wings, does it become a regular Goomba for the rest of its life? No one ever talks about this. That's a good point. Oh, it doesn't even Wait, it doesn't even allow me to hammer it. That's funny. It's just like an invalid move. Heck yeah, 10 XP. Oh my god. All this modern polish. It's so freaking nice. Owie! Give me your money. Ha! Later on, losers! That felt awesome! Are you ready, Mario? There's plenty more where they came from, and they have all have it in for us. When they attack, try to hammer them on, jump on them while they're on field, in the field. Successfully, 
A new performer first strike. No, you didn't even let me do that. So if enemy catches sight of you, be sure to thump them into battle. Alright, I don't think we can do this yet. Nope. Only one way to go. I really like this like little light detail coming from the sky. I'm imagining it's I'm imagining it's gonna get darker as we go down. Yep, it is. I, that's what I, I knew it. I knew like Nintendo would have the Nintendo polish. Like the darker, the, the lower you go, the more you, you go down. Yep. So since I already tattled, I I uh, see their health bar. I don't need I don't need to do it again. Easy farming. And basically every Paper Mario game, uh, post, I think Super Paper Mario on the Wii, there was no XP anymore, so it, it felt like really bad to, uh, it felt bad to kill enemies because you, there was like no reason to kill them. But in this game, there is a reason to kill them because you get experience and you level up like in any RPG. So everything that I kill is meaningful. Give me my money. Do I ever get my money back? I actually don't know. Mushroom. Ba ah, frick! God dang it. Oh, there's only two of these fools. Owning, farming, I'm literally farming them. I, I don't remember if the game was that easy um, in the start. It probably was, to be honest. Okay, maybe I didn't need to buy all that stuff because I can't move this down yet. Maybe I didn't need to buy all that stuff because I forgot you got all these items down here. How many items do I even have? I, I must be almost full at this point. Freaking big! Oh Jesus! Ah, oh, frick! I will block! I block! I block! I block! Ba! Super guard! That's right. Uh, yeah, let's tattle. Uh, tattle. That's a spinia. A totally weird creature made of thin, papery boards. It certainly looks unique. Nobody knows about these creatures, actually. HP is 3, attack is 1, as defense is 0. Its attacks are super swift, but it should be pretty easy. Just give it a hee Watch the super guard! Ah, oh, frick. Uh, never mind. Nobody saw that. Boom! And now you get bonked on. Hello, puny, puny, puny. Ba, gotcha. Boom. Oh man, if only I could freaking jump on both of them. But I can't. That's fine. I'll just do a uh, easy super guard. Yeah. All right. Look at this amazing timing. Oh, that's right. That's freaking right. I still got it. I still got it. Twenty years later, I still got it. can't use this this platform yet so I'm gonna go into this little dark corridor hey you can you hear me you can that must mean you're the hero of legend oh, me 
Only the great hero of legend could hear my voice. Yeah, everyone else, nothing. Can, wait, can Goombella not hear him? Or Frankly, who's literally right next to Mario? See, long ago, an evil spirit cast a curse on me, locking me in a chest. It was a real drag. I've been here ever since, waiting a long, long time for a hero to come by. So yeah, anyway, big guy, what brings a hero like you to a place like this? Uh, uh, Mario, a word with you. I'm not exactly confident we can trust this chest. Wait, so we can hear. Why are they not saying anything? I guess they are now. I think it might, it might be best not to mention we're looking for the crystal stars. Well, Drat, I just said it out loud. What's wrong with me? <laughs> oh yeah, Ser searching for the crystal stars are you now? So you really are a hero. Well, you're definitely gonna need my help if you hope to get those bad boys. So first, you should look for a key to this chest. Then use it on Let Me Out, definitely. Not sure how this chest guy would know anything about the crystal stars. What do you think we ought to do? Well, I know my vote goes to you finding that key. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. This is what a key looks like, by the way. Come on. Being stuck in a box is, a, is no picnic. I'm counting on you, oh legendary hero. Well, considering there is literally nothing else to do, we should probably get that key, which is right here. I love the, like, the remix they gave this uh, song. There's like so many layers to it now. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You brought the big key! Yes! Oh man, I owe you big! Take my black key. Yes! Thank! Ha! Thank nothing! Wee! Oh dear. Fools! Oh boy, did you fall for it? I burned you. What, you think I was gonna help you? Instead, I'm gonna spread a little suffering I've endured in that stupid box. Yeah, sorry, but those are the rules. Uh, those are the, them's the breaks. I'm gonna cast an evil, terrible curse on you. Buggly wuggly woo, you're cursed. Holy frick. Wee! Enjoy that curse, sucker. That's what you deserve. You want to hear about the sweet curse I dropped? Then listen well. From now on, if you press Y in certain areas, you'll turn into a paper airplane. Wee! Trembling yet? Suffer the rest of your days under my terrible curse. Wee! I can't help but chortle. You're doomed. This curse is pretty rough, I guess. So I suppose I owe you to explain it. Really? I think you just I think you just explained it exactly already. What a horrible curse. So be honest. Do you fully understand the peril this curse has bestowed upon you? Yes, please do not explain it again. Farewell, you foolish fool. Wee! The curse guy is great. So, uh, wow, just wow. What was that guy's beef? Now we're cursed. Cursed to be able to uh, become a plane. And can fly across this gap now. Oh my god, it's so much faster than before. Holy frick. Oh boy, we're here. Can anyone guess what that is right there? Oh, Mario, Goombella, look at that. Is that the thousand year door? I can't believe it's real. So the legends are true, come, let's move closer. No, I want to explore a bit. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> Professor, what's going on? Mario is about to be abducted by aliens. Oh, he's. <laughs> oh, no. It's, 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 I thought he was glowing, but the map was glowing. Boom! That's a lot of gunk going into the map. And the map is getting some color! It's showing you where the where the stars are. Location of a crystal star has been recorded on your map. Oh my god, we actually are glowing. Holy frick. And Mario can now use the special move, Sweet Treat. Oh yeah, he gets it immediately. I forget. I forgot that's what happened. <laughs> Professor, the map! What was that with all those lights? <laughs> this, do th this looks like information related to the location of the crystal star. In this shining light, it looked as if a mysterious power was given to Mario. Well, one way or another, we shall return to my place and study the map closely. Oh yeah. Heck yeah. We're gonna go back up. Time time skip. Hmm. Oh, I see. You understand it, Professor? Of course I do, and I shall explain. The first thing to know is... This map is truly astounding! Somehow, the map contains radar-like functions. It's showing us the location of the crystal star. It looks like the first crystal star is to be found in a place called Petal Meadows. Well, Mario, we're off. Give it your best. Now then, allow me to give you both a proper farewell, as you two will likely perish after leaving. What? What are you doing? Oh, you're gonna show me about the star power. I already know, I already know. Oh, my first badge! Mario, it's scary out there. Take this with you. Heck yes! You got power smash badge. Let's equip it. As I am doing a badge point only run, so give me all the badges. Oh, what the frick? Where did you come from? Who are you? Wait. Are you, you are a new character. I don't remember you. Hey there, kid! You got a minute to learn what it means to fight? Like a fight with your whole heart? I can see you're brimming with potential, kid! And there's a heap of stuff you don't know about a fight! Stylish moves? Isn't it big? There's a whole list! Feel free to hit me up if you got a question, friendo! Who am I? There's someone called me the Battle Master! And I don't stop him! But I could with fighting! Anywho, I got a great life travel and training! And uh, third thing, if you see me around, give me a holler! Oh yeah, the stylish moves, I forgot about that. I don't know how you even do a stylish move. I think you just hit A at a certain time. If I uh, remember correctly. Yeah, I did that by accident. Oh my god, it's so fast. Oh, there's a guy down there. Wait, 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 I gotta kill him. Time to farm. Oh, stylish. Okay, so I think the stylish gives you more um, crowds, so let's do that. Boom! I'm so stylish. Yeah, I, I like literally forgot that was a thing. The control now, but that's good. It's like more like an actual paper plane. Oh, that was fast. We're already there. But okay. Boom! Bloop, bloop! Bloop! Huh? Holy frick, he's big. Bloop! 
bloop, 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 bloop. Bloop, bloop, bloop. <laughs> bloop, 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 bloop. That's, that's some saucy mustached guy. Heck yeah. That's me, saucy. Bloopity, bloop, bloop. Wait, what did he just say? Did he say tentacle pie? I, uh, I hope I misread that. Tattle! Five. Wow, like, double pressed A by accident, but we're fine. That's a blooper! And a really super humongous one, too! Ew! It's all slimy! I just totally can't stand slimy, nasty, icky things! G R O S S gross! Max HP 12, attack is 1, defense is 0, it attacks with ten tentacles and ink. Once you damage both the tentacles, it'll fall down and then attack, and then it's attack time. By the way, tentacles each have 3 HP each. Now relax and make seafood out of that slimy, nasty blooper. Well, time to power smash this tentacle! Want a snack? Um, honestly, I don't really like calamari, so no. Woo! Guarded. Let's switch back. Whoa, oh god, do not freaking hammer this thing, god dang it. I'm pretty sure if I hit hammer, it would not have worked. Oh, I forgot to do the stylish. Whoops. I can do it with, with, with Goombella, right? Let's see. Nope, I fricked it up. No, I can just hit him now. Eat my power smash! That's me. With your booty. Oh my god. Wait, I forgot I have a freaking FP counter. Ah, I frickin' didn't do the stylish. Oh, bingo! I'll get this. Watch this. Easy. Bingo! Frick. Super guard. Ah, frick! Oh, that's frickin' nasty. Oh, you die now. Woo! Oh my god, stylish finish. Oh yeah, bunch of money. That's 50, 50 oh, yeah. coins is a lot. Holy frick. Bloop, bloop. Heck. Yes. Can't use the boat yet. Oh frick, what the? Okay, I didn't, didn't think those were gonna move. Wait, can I not make that jump? I thought I just mistimed it. Oh, I guess I can't make that jump. Mario, you know in other games, you jump very, very high. This game, not so much. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Finally, done with the prologue. Chapter 1, Castle and Dragon.